guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Doggone It! I gotten another request from my good friend Chris Richardson. This time, he's asked me to talk about the St. Bernard. Okay, Chris, this one's for you, my friend. Now sit and stay as we babble about the St. Bernard. An adult male St. Bernard can stand between 28 and 30 inches tall and can weigh between 140 and 180 pounds. An adult female may stand between 26 and 28 inches tall and may weigh between 120 and 140 pounds. The St. Bernard originated from the Western Alps in Italy and Switzerland. The breed was named after Bernard de Menton, also known as Bernard du Monjo, the Archdeacon of Aosta. To make the pass a safer place for travelers, he founded the imposing Great St. Bernard Hospice, which was placed under the jurisdiction of the Bishop of Sion. As well as providing a welcome refuge for travelers, the hospice was also a place of worship. The presence of a church on the site was documented as far back as 1125. The hospice acquired its first dogs as late as 1660 to 1670. It is said that the St. Bernard is descended from dogs gifted to the monks by families of the cantons of Vaud and Valai. They were originally bred to guard and protect the hospice residents, thereby continuing on the good work of Bernard de Menton to restore security to this mountainous region. However, the dogs soon began to display remarkable abilities, rescuing travelers lost in the mountains and finding people buried under the snow. The exploits of the St. Bernard are extensively documented. According to legend, it was the tales told by Napoleon Bonaparte's soldiers in 1800 that helped forge the reputation of this extraordinary canine. And of course, the one thing that most people think of when they think of St. Bernard's is the cask. Although its origins are disputed, some contend that the little wooden barrel attached to the dog's leather collar had a part to play in rescue missions. It was thought that the alcohol inside would temporarily restore the blood flow. Well, what kind of alcohol was it? Some say rum, others say schnapps. Some even claim it was a local concoction made according to a secret recipe. As the many depictions of the St. Bernard prove, the little barrel, regardless of its contents, has contributed to the dog's iconic image. In 1855, innkeeper Heinrich Shoemaker began breeding the dogs. Shoemaker used a stud book supplying the hospice with dogs and also exported the dogs to England, Russia, and the United States. However, for the most part nowadays, St. Bernard's are no longer used for alpine rescues, the last recorded instance of which was in 1955. As late as 2004, the Great St. Bernard Hospice still retained 18 of the dogs for the reasons of tradition and sentiment. Overall, St. Bernard's are healthy dogs, but they are predisposed to certain medical conditions. They include hip and elbow dysplasia, Addison's disease, cancers such as bone cancer, eye problems, and gastric torsion. Bloat. In terms of grooming, St. Bernard's need to be brushed about three times a week to prevent their coats from becoming messy and unruly. Long-haired St. Bernard's should be brushed with a pin brush to remove excess hair, but short-haired St. Bernard's can be brushed with a glove or a rubber brush. And these good-natured dogs can be bathed as frequently as weekly up to no longer than eight weeks 
depending on his activity level. In terms of training, although St. Bernard's are cute and adorable, they're quite difficult to train. They can be very stubborn, and some individuals, especially the males, are willful and dominant and will make you prove that you can make them do things. You must show them through absolute consistency that you mean what you say. In terms of its temperament, the St. Bernard is very calm and gentle, and the breed is known to be very patient and rarely aggressive around strangers. Because they're so friendly, gentle, and tolerant, St. Bernard's can be especially good for families with well-behaved children. Known to be exceptionally understanding and patient, saints are careful not to injure a child. With all of this put together, St. Bernard's can make for very good family dogs. Well, that was it. My Dog Gone It episode on the St. Bernard. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.